The National Resistance Movement Parliamentary Caucus has this afternoon unanimously approved the recommendations made by the party's Central Executive Committee SEC to retain the six incumbent representatives at the East African Legislative Assembly. As NRM candidates for the position of members of the East African Legislative Assembly, these are Honorable Rose Akol, Honorable Kakoza James, Honorable Mugenyi Mary, Honorable Musa Mali Paul Mwasa, Honorable Namara Dennis, and Honorable Odongo George Stephen. President Shere Kaguta Museven, also the national chairman of the INRM, told the caucus what informed the SEC's decision to retain the current members. Recommended that we maintain these six. We are really uh, two, two reasons. Reason number one has been the precedent which we had already started that in the past when we send their Yara members of parliament we give them the second chance. The president also told the caucus that the other reason was the cohesion shown by the six members during their concluding tenure. In the past, we have had disharmony among our members. When they would go to Arusha, I don't know what would happen to them. They would start fighting among themselves. Our own, now this group, have behaved differently. They have been cohesive. We have never had any quarrel. I have never been called to mediate anything. So they have performed well. The motion was then moved and seconded as the caucus thereafter unanimously approved the recommendation. I hereby recommend that the incumbent Yala members be maintained in recognition of their exceptional performance to continue their tenure of, for another term as members of the East African Legislative Assembly. On the remaining three that came from the other parties with representation in Palmi, the caucus agreed to support those from the friendly parties like Uganda People's Congress, Democratic Party and Justice Forum, JEMA. The Inarium Secretary General Honor Richard Todong said that SEC received 130 applicants for the other slots and thereafter some time, 64 decided to withdraw. According to Honor Richard Todong, Resolution 9 of the 4th SEC meeting resolved that SEC recommends to retain the incumbent members. The NRM Chief Whip in Parliament, Honor Hamson Obua, revealed that since the last caucus meeting held on August 19th, Parliament has passed nine bills. These include the Anti-Terrorism Bill, the Companies Bill, the Trustees Incorporation Bill, the Anti-Money Laundering Bill, the Cooperative Societies Bill, the Partnership Bill, the Exercise Duty Bill, and the Museum and Monuments Bill. Honorable Obua rallied the members of the caucus to support the party candidates when they are presented to Parliament. Let me start by thanking my honorable colleagues for responding positively and attending this caucus meeting in big numbers. Honorable members, I thank you for responding. According to the roadmap, nominations are on September 19th and 20th, 2022, and polling day is September 29th, 2022. Members are hereby reminded to commit themselves and ensure that the decision of the caucus is upheld as they move towards the voting day. The chief whip also thanked President Museven and Sek for the wise guidance given to the party. The six incumbent representatives all thanked the president, second caucus, for supporting their candidature. They requested the MPs to vote for them come the polling day in parliament. At the same meeting, His Excellency President Museven assured the MPs that the European Union resolution that Total Energy stops the oil pipeline project won't happen because the government of Uganda has a well-detailed agreement and contract with them. The meeting held at Color Independence Grounds was attended by, among others, the Vice President of Uganda, retired Major Jessica Arupo, and the First Lady and Minister of Education and Sports, Honorable Janet Museven. Robert Onyango, UBC News.